Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And that's it. Let's get into this video. Okay guys, let's get right into the pros of this Toro Turf Master 30. Well, right off the bat, the obvious part that is the best is the cutting width. It, it saves so much time compared to a small 21 inch lawnmower that I, I just don't want to pick one up, up anymore. Sometimes this doesn't fit through the gate of some backyards and I dread to use the 21 inch because this thing's so nice to use. Number two on the pros list has to be how easy these wheels are to adjust. It's one simple lever and you pull it up or down, set your height, and it's got an arrow on where you want to set it to, and that's it. It's easy as that. Now, the third thing has to be this variable speed, variable speed handle. You pull it over to the right, and then you pull it up, that engages the blade and it's variable speed so the further you pull the handle the faster it goes that's the nicest part and if you don't want the blazing gate you just drop the handle automatically goes to the off position and then you can pull the handle straight up for drive only in the forward direction on the pros list is got to be the size of this bag it is absolutely huge and if I can easily do somebody's backyard that's a regular size without having to empty the bag at all it's awesome the fifth thing on this pros list is this chute it is so easy to take off with one simple sp spring Tor really thought of this and, and they thought they listened to the, the, the consumers. They said they wanted something quick, easy, and not nothing they have to play with, taking off bolts or nuts. And it's, it's so easy. The sixth pro about this mower would have to be the engine. Now, this is a Kawasaki FJ180V, and I absolutely love this motor. It's a little bit underpowered for the 30 inch, especially when you get into the wet grass, but other than that, it's awesome. Now this mower hasn't been started in, oh, I don't know, three days. All you have to do is push this lever to choke and give it a pull. Now 
heard the whole pros list of more there is obviously a con, which is with every mower on the market. And starting off with number one has to be how heavy this mower is. The deck is very well designed, it's very heavy duty, it's thick metal, it, it'll never cause a problem. But this mower nearly weighs 200 pounds. I believe it's 180 pounds, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know what that translates into kilograms, but uh, going through ditches, it's okay, but the problem is when you, when you have to go back up the ditch, it's terrible because you can have this handle pulled all the way to the uh, to the handle. You can have it full speed, and the transmission just will not do it. It's just it's too much weight for too little of a motor. So that's going to be second on the list. This motor, it's an awesome motor. It's on my commercial uh, X Mark 21 inch mowers I've had, and it's just an awesome motor. But this is now a 30 inch. Why does this mower have the same engine as a 21 inch mower? They should have upped it. it. It just doesn't make sense. And when you get in tall wet grass, the, the, blades, the blades just clog up underneath and this motor just shuts off. It will not do it, it refuses. And the grass doesn't even have to be tall if it's wet. If it's, if it's just tall, it'll do okay. You'll have to go very slow, but if it's wet, and it doesn't have to be tall if it's wet. It's, yeah, game over at that point. Now, my number three, I don't know if we could count this on the cons list, but I don't understand why ma manufacturers do not put hour meters on these mowers straight from factory. As you can probably see, I got an hour meter right here. I zip tied in the grill, uh, just wrapped around the ignition, or the, uh, sorry, the uh, spark plug and it counts your hours, no problem. It's an awesome spot for it. I don't know why they don't come stock with that. I, I, wanna, I wanna know how often I have to do maintenance or accurately know how often I have to do maintenance. Number four on this list of cons has to be the pure price of this mower. They retail for around $2,400, which give or take, or whatever your dealer around you selling them for, but they're all around that price range. Now you can go and you buy a commercial 21 inch for like 1800 bucks. Uh, and it's got the exact same motor, a little bit different transmission, but then the deck is the only part that's significantly different. And $2,400, I don't know of many companies that want to go out and they want to buy three of these for all three of their crews that they have running. So Toro has to do something about that. Maybe further down the line, other manufacturers will come out with the 30 inches. I know, I know that um, Toro and Xmark, which are pretty well the same company, both have their 30 inches out. But I don't know of any other 30 inches. If you do, leave it in the comment section below, and I want to know. I want to hear about these because uh, maybe I can get my hands on one of them and try it out, and let you know how those are. Because I don't know, that Convos is just awfully lengthy for uh, my liking.